Welcome back one and all to Red Dead Redemption 2. I am the Dark Seraph. Last time we robbed a riverboat and it went a little bit better this time. We actually got away with the money unlike what happened in Blackwater. And it was Cornwall's boat too by the way. That's so... Okay, good friar. You, kind sir. Will you help the poor? Sure, good I friar. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some, some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> You have no idea. But you do. And God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. I'll donate. Sure. Bless you, sir. How are you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Hmm. My, um... My mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. That's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but yeah, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm... Well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. Like saint -Denis is acting as a staging post shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Interesting. The Investigate the shop. Excuse me, partner. I have to say, life is pretty good. Uh, ooh, lots of people. That's why I don't like cities. But if we got a fucking slave ring going on here, I'll be very happy to shoot some fucker in the head. One with the green door. This is kind of a green door. Not this one. Bought or sold. I'm not exactly sure how I'm to get in there. Oh. That's quite alright. Oh, in here. I was going through the wrong door. That is certainly a green-ish door. Hi there, mister. Feel free to browse. Shall do. Where are they? Who? People you're hiding. I know they're here. Don't lie to me. Please. They made me do it. I was always good to them, but they, they, they forced me to do it, sir, I swear. Where are they? Uh, the, there's a door behind the bookcase there. Just put the big red book called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. Crossbreeding. This is my brother's door. I I'm just watching it while he's away. Hello? Shh, 
¿Hay alguien ahí? I'm afraid I'm here to free you. ¿Quién es? Por favor, ayúdanos. Help, please. Ayúdanos. Please, I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. ¿Quién eres? A good man. What's he gonna do? Go to the police and watch all. And all these people are gonna be running out of the shop's basement. Yeah, it's not like that shopkeeper can really do. This can't possibly come back to bite him without. Well, I can't really promise that, but you're gonna be better off than you were before. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. This way. How much farther? Poor bastards. ¿Quién es este hombre? No lo sé. Estamos libres. Eso es lo que importa. Tenemos que confiar en él. I got fresh vegetables for sale here. Hey there. Let me know if you need some help. Welcome back, sir. Save some folk. Brother. Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh my. That's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers. Come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, he forgot this. Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here, payment for your services. I could not have freed these men myself. I gave that Give to you. Poor brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Nothing like helping people out. Oh, I got a bad feeling about this. Hey, buy me a drink, mon ami. Huh? Be careful, eh? Sure, what you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Artist's way. Well, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. It would have been funny if he said Saucy. it's brandy. <sighs> ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally, hmm? I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. <laughs> <laughs> Very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I. I pose, I show off, I complain. How very oh, so you, I know. Actually, I was going to say how very <laughs> American. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights. And I have discovered the one eternal truth. That I am a pies, um, how do you say? All ass. Mm. Asshole? Mm. That too. That too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No. I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. Not according to the salons at Paris. No. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Mmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Mm. I guess so. Mm. You know, 
Uh, the problem with France is it is full Charles. of the French. You know, Arthur, don't believe in art. Mm. It's lies. Believe in women. They are the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina, that is truth. Breasts is truth. Art is for idiots. You say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better. Uh, <laughs> <better>. <laughs> <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm, no matter. Good meeting you. Mm. Oh. That was a waste of time. All I did was meet some snotty little Frenchmen. I had to get Brandy and a picture of a naked woman out of it, so it can't be all bad. Donkey fucker! Ah, excuse me, bud. Okay, we got a dude here. Hey, where's my horse going? Okay, it's still there. Excellent. What? <laughs> Listen, bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. No nope. strong liquor. Over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. Ooh. There's plenty of real booze here. <laughs> but for shine, well, I'm guessing you need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Oh, shine? Oh, yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh, all right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> Hundreds of gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. It's for a good cause. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. And I got some side missions going on. So let's keep on moving. Wizard. Looks like a greenhouse of sorts. 
For one moment, please. This is extremely delicate. Hey. There. Oh, wonderful. Algernon Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite. Enchanté. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help you? May I interest you in a uh, hat, perhaps? Uh, How about a nymph? I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Oh, now, boy, that I got a, is a I got land a, for the connoisseur. Art guy. Oh, yes, yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not really a nymph kind of man. No, oh, of course, too ephemeral. You want something uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Hmm. Well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An aesthete? <gasps> an artist. Uh, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventurer. Ha! Huh. Yes, of course you are. Here, be careful with the china. Sir, it is French. Not Belgian? No, no, no. They are Philistines in that area not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble is more their specialty. I the fear fuck is this guy? Them. Now, why are you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer. A wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven. <sighs> sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? I do. Exceptionally well. Well, what do you need? Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. I also need 15 assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. I will see what I can do. Thanks for the tea. Thank you, Tacitus. A way to make more money. It'll be very worth your while. Okay. You need me to be your errand boy. Okay. Come How about on. no? Let's head back to camp and see what... Sadie needs to speak with you. Okay, Miss Sadie. Thought I had another question mark pop up. All right then, let's get a move on. Speed up until I reach my destination. Okay, we got time for this. We'll take it nice and easy for you. Looks like it hit an artery. That much blood loss, you're lucky to be alive. And your horse just fucking left you, dude. Think about an embarrassing moment from grade school. You'll never sleep again. Where? Where am I? Sand and E. you give up now? I'm dying. This is it. 
You ain't dead yet, you stupid bastard. My arm. I can't feel it anymore. It's probably because it's broken. Ain't looking for trouble. Oh, good God. Quickly, bring him in here. Right here. You sit him down in this chair. Just saw you fall out of the saddle. Don't worry, you're at the doctor. Thanks, friend. I appreciate it. Sure. There's also the matter of my payment. But we'll deal with that later. All right. All right. A lot of blood loss. This wound's badly infected. I'll save as much as I can. I have to amputate. What? What did you say? I'd agree. Okay, that was... I saved it, dude. Okay, day. Let's go find Sadie. Load up. Back, damn it. There's Tilly. How you doing, Mrs. Adler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I... Horseman well, Apocalypse. since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. Oh, Lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yeah, <laughs> perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there, I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. I ain't never robbed in a city before. Hey, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a painter. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? What the hell have they done to me? Look, they're in the tree line. Everybody take cover! Our Driscoll boys are coming! Good lord, they killed Kieran! What the fuck?
Fuck you! I liked him! Duck down, damn it! He's She's still out there. Cover me. Okay. I found me one of their women. This is Adler. I think Sadie's got this covered. These O'Driscolls have a sick sense of humor. Sadie, I gotta go help her. Cover me! Who's this lady here? Dutch always had a fondness for women. This is Adler! Sadie? Sadie! I think she has this covered. Why didn't you get inside? 
Miss all this? Come on, Arthur. Now we go back. Protect Sadie. I think she can take care of herself. Fucking O'Driscoll's. I need something with more stopping power. Pig fucker. Oh. Arthur. Mrs. Adler? Mr. Smith? We got him running. What he do? Hold back. They was ready for us. Cowards! We okay? I think so. Kieran Except isn't. Kieran here. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson. Would you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Como Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. He's gonna kill Colm, or he's gonna try to. Kieran, that poor kid we spared from O'Driscoll's gang up in the mountains is dead. We chopped his head off and tried to kill the lot of us. The whole place gives me the creeps. Fucking hell. I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Red Dead Redemption 2 as I... I don't even know.